Hey guys, so today I am going to do a new video on this channel and it is, as you've read from the title, products I regret buying. And I love watching these videos on YouTube because I, I don't know, like, it's so, it's nice to hear what people like, but it's even better to hear what people don't like because then you're like, I'm definitely not going to try that product if it's going to turn my skin blue. So I've accumulated quite a few things in the past like year or so probably a little less that I just I wish I could return and never see again I regret them immensely so I thought I would film a video and share things with you and I think I'm gonna make this like an every couple of months kind of video it depends on of course like if I have products I regret buying or if I have enough that warrants a video but I definitely want to make this kind of a semi-regular thing to share with you guys stuff that I just completely hate. So I have a few things here and I'm just gonna get started. This first thing is a very new thing to my collection and it was just recently in my haul video and I tried it and there was disastrous results so I thought I'd make it the first thing. It is the Sally Hansen Wax Strip Kit and I regret this. I don't know what I was thinking. I was so ambitious, like, oh, you've never waxed before or know what it's like? Let's just do it by yourself. And it's just, no, mm -mm, it was bad. I wrote about this on my blog already, so if you wanna go read that, I'll include any, any sort, I think I talked about a number of these. So any of that, like, anything I have on the blog related to stuff I'm talking about in this video, I'll include in the description bar. So I told everybody in that post about my horrible experience with these. And basically it was just, I tried it, I followed the directions very closely because I was worried about trying it, so I wanted to make sure I did everything right. And what happened was just a giant wax strip remained on my leg firmly for long enough to make me panic and do some panicky things and it was just not good. So I have quite a few strips left. Maybe I'll venture into it another time, see if I can do it differently. But this was definitely something I should have just stayed away from and never even wanted. I just shouldn't have tried it. So that was not good. This next product I picked up very recently, even after the haul post, and I tried it and oh my god. Okay, it is the CoverGirl flamed out like shadow pencil. And what shade are you? It's like a, doesn't even tell me, that's cool. It's in 350, so it's just a pencil, a shadow pencil that you use on your um, eyelids or like under your eyes and stuff. So I was using this one morning, getting ready for work, and I was like putting it on my outer lids and it just wasn't showing up the way I wanted to. It was a little too light. It was more of like an inner eye shadow than an outer eye shadow. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just bring it under my under eye and use it to line my like lower lashes. Holy crap, did my eyes feel like they were gonna fall out. They hurt so bad, they were stinging. I was like crying, I couldn't open my eyes without them hurting. I like ran to the bathroom, I was like rinsing my eyes off. And I do this step, the under eye step, after I put on my mascara. So I just had mascara running down my face. My entire face was ruined, I had to redo my makeup. Not to mention my eyes almost fall out. So. This sucks. I hated this. I don't want to try it again to see if I did something weird because I know I didn't put it anywhere near my eyes that this could have happened. So I'm just going to get away. Just, oh, I hate you. And just never, never again. Not even messing with that because that was the worst experience ever. So. <sighs> so I did a collaboration post on my blog a couple of months ago now and it was with Potions Anonymous and we decided we wanted to do a $20 makeup challenge, like a makeup look challenge, around the theme of like summer oceans and like water and stuff. So I was trying to do really well and not go over the $20 and I actually went over like a dollar. So I was trying really hard and I was looking at the cheaper brands like Wet n Wild and NYC and I picked up this HD Color Trio Eyeshadow in Blue's Cafe because I had some good blue shades and when I used this for the the post it just didn't work I was like putting my brush in it trying to put it on my eyes it was super powdery like as soon as I put it on my eyes I felt like it just disappeared into the air or on my cheeks so it just didn't work it was a waste of like two dollars I would have much rather spent five dollars or whatever on an eyeshadow palette that would work 
than this. So although it like was good for the like project, it's just no, mm -mm, never, never again, no more NYC eyeshadows for me because I was just terrible. I wonder if other people get really like hyped up when they make these videos because I'm like talking about all this stuff and I'm just like getting angry like oh my god why do you suck so much so I'll have to like do some yoga afterwards to calm myself down but the next thing nevertheless I have more is the hard candy fox in a box in spicy and sweet and I wrote about this on my blog as well and I was so excited about this because I've been eyeing benefits box blushes for much too long and I just can't get myself to spend $30 on them. I think this was like five or six. So I was like, it's in a box. Maybe it'll curb my appetite for expensive blushes and boxes. It's nothing happens with it. Like it's barely anything comes off. It's very shimmery and like silver, if that makes sense. Just the next product is also a hard candy. I did a whole like overview post on my website where I bought like five or six different hard candy products to review just to do like a basic what the brand is about or like. And this is the Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner. No. I love liquid eyeliners. I like using gel eyeliners. I'm not very good with pencil liners unless they're on the lower line. So I prefer more liquidy substances. This is just like... It comes out, look at that, that was like my first attempt to sweep it and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do a giant ink blob all over hand. It doesn't dry, like it's gonna stay wet and like smeary and just, oh, I hate this, I hate it. So I've definitely determined I'm not a hard candy kind of girl, gonna stay away from that line, just nothing in it, it's, I just don't, mm -mm. I just don't. So this last product I was really excited about. Hot Look was doing a sale on NYX, and that was before I ever tried any NYX products. And I was also searching for a good matte lipstick at the time, and I was so excited about these. They came in a set of three. They are the um, matte lipsticks in the shades Summer Breeze, Hippie Chic, and Perfect Red. I don't know if it really matters if you see them, because I'm about to tell you how much I hate them, so just gonna show you anyways I don't know what happened to the pink one so just a nice like collection of colors there's your variety you got a nude you got a bright red you got a pink you got everything you need it was gonna be awesome I was super pumped everything was gonna be fantastic until I tried to put them on my lips and it was just the most uncomfortable awful experience they Felt like I was applying crayon to my face. The consistency was dreadful. They weren't easy to work with. They were so pigmented. They're bright. Like, good job. You did a great job making them really pigmented, bright colors. But they were so bright that you couldn't even make them look good. The red was, the red I think was okay. Like, it was a, because red is supposed to be bright. So that was okay. The hippie chic, like, nude color. Oh god, it was awful. Like, I felt like I was a four-year-old again, or however old you are when you're allowed to start, like, playing with makeup, like, seven. I don't know. I felt like I was a young kid again. Got my first, like, cheap $5 makeup kit from, like, Meyer, and I was applying makeup to my face, and I looked like a clown. And it bummed me out, because I like NYX. They have really good products. They have good lip products. Just these are not included in that list of good lip products. So I'd have to say this is the one I'm most upset about. The other ones, I didn't know if I would like. So I'd be like, oh, okay, whatever, just give it a shot. They were give it a shot products. And these were, yes, these were the answer to my matte lipstick hunt, but they weren't. They just, they weren't at all. So that is all of the products, at least right now, that I regret buying. And this video has me very uptight and tense and angry now at shitty products. Sorry. Um, so I'm just going to go and drink some tea or something. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos where I'm just blatantly honest about the crappiness of products because I enjoy doing them. I feel like they're much more helpful than other videos. So that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.